Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew went through their high-profile separation in 1992, but the Duchess of York still wore her famous ruby engagement ring for 11 years after the scandal-laden split. Sarah Ferguson, affectionately known as Fergie, and Prince Andrew married in their spectacular royal wedding in 1986. However, the Duke and Duchess of York separated in 1992 after a series of scandalous scaffs. Notwithstanding this, and their 1996 divorce which saw Fergie lose her HRH title, the Duchess did not take off her engagement ring. Pictures reveal that the Duchess of York can be seen wearing the famous ruby ring every year since her 1992 separation until she seems to take it off in 2003. Fergie and Andrew's high-profile divorce occurred in 1996, after both the Duke and Duchess of York, and Prince Charles and Princess Diana, were ordered to divorce by the Queen. Nevertheless, Fergie has always been clear that the reasons for the split were not because she and Andrew had ceased to get on. She even dedicated her autobiography, released in the year of her divorce, to her ex-husband. In the book, titled My Story, the Duchess of York revealed that the breakup was nothing to do with her relationship with Andrew, but rather with the palace. She wrote, From early on that year, 1992, Andrew and I had been discussing a separation. Not because we'd stopped caring for one another, but because I had reached the end of my royal rope. For six years I had shouldered the demands of palace life. I'd endured the constant scrutiny of the British press and the barely veiled hostility of the royal household, the courtiers who run the show. Gradually, relentlessly, they had beaten me down. They were killing me by inches. It was time to save my life. However, the reasons for her eventual decision to take the famous ruby ring off in 2003 remain unclear. Although the Duke and Duchess of York still cohabit, Fergie has made it clear in the past that they still date other people. She told Harper's Bazaar 2011, I love him, Andrew. He's my soulmate. It's actually what we said in front of God at the altar, we honor and respect each other until death do us part. The only thing is, he has girlfriends and I have boyfriends. In 2003 she was pictured holding hands with American financier Edgar Bronfman Jr., although a romantic relationship between the pair was never confirmed. Whispers then swirled in 2016 that the Duchess had ended a two-year relationship with internet entrepreneur Manuel Fernandez. The rumors were rekindled in 2017 when the pair were pictured partying with the actor Antonio Banderas. However, the Duchess office insisted that the relationship had always been platonic. It also is not clear where the Duchess engagement ring may be now. Fergie's daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie have not made use of the family heirloom, although Eugenie's pink Padfordska sapphire subtly pays tribute to her mother's ring. Princess Beatrice, who announced her engagement to Eduardo Mazzi yesterday, has chosen a diamond design that is very similar in shape to her grandmother the Queen's engagement ring. Fergie has worn striking jewelry relating to her and Andrew's daughters, however. This year at Royal Ascot with the Duke of York, she sported a large bracelet that spelled out Beatrice and Eugenie's names and gems. Sarah Ferguson will soon gain a new son-in-law after her daughter Princess Beatrice this week announced her engagement. But as Fergie rushed to congratulate the pair, has she unwittingly revealed her favorite son-in-law? The royal family yesterday revealed Princess Beatrice is engaged to be married to her boyfriend of around one year, Eduardo Mapli Mazzi. The 31-year-old daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson will marry at some point next year in what is likely to be another beautiful and lavish royal wedding. Congratulations were issued from millions of people around the world yesterday including significant members of the royal family and other famous faces. But did Sarah Ferguson accidentally reveal who her favorite is of her daughter's boaths? In a statement issued on Thursday, September 26, Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Mapli Mazzi announced they had gotten engaged during a weekend trip to Italy earlier this month. The couple has had a whirlwind romance so far having only dated for around a year, but unlike Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's rapid romance, Beatrice and Ada, as he is affectionately named, have known each other for most of their lives. In a statement published by Beatrice's parents, 
The couple said, We are extremely happy to be able to share the news of our recent engagement. We are both so excited to be embarking on this life adventure together and can't wait to be married. We share so many similar interests and values and we know this will stand us in great stead for the years ahead, full of love and happiness. The Duke and Duchess of York added, We are thrilled that Beatrice and Eduardo have got engaged, having watched their relationship develop with pride. We are the lucky parents of a wonderful daughter who has found her love and companion in a completely devoted friend and loyal young man. We send them every good wish for a wonderful family future. But on Sarah Ferguson's social media account, she provided more insight into her happiness. When her youngest daughter Eugenie announced her engagement, Fergie shared four posts with different down-to-earth images of the couple. Alongside these images she wrote the following messages. I always say that the river flows to its destiny because of the guidance of a solid rock hashtag engagement hashtag Uge and Jack at the Duke of York. But for Princess Beatrice's engagement, Sarah Ferguson appeared to take a more official and formal manner regarding her posts. She shared two posts using the couple's official engagement photographs and two images taken by her youngest daughter Eugenie. With these images, Fergie wrote, Eugenie took the color photographs as my girls are so close. The black and white photographs were taken by Miss and Harriman at Royal Lodge, Windsor Great Park. With the second post, Fergie wrote, I know what a mother feels so I have tears of joy. I am so proud of this sensational news. Andrew and I are just the luckiest people ever to have two great sons-in-law. Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew have been longtime friends with Eduardo's parents, Nikki Williams Ellis and Alessandro Mapli Mazzi. Edo's parents said of the engagement, We are truly delighted about Eduardo and Beatrice's engagement. Our family has known Beatrice for most of her life. Edo and Beatrice are made for each other, and their happiness and love for each other is there for all to see. They share an incredibly strong and united bond, their marriage will only strengthen what is already a wonderful relationship. Before they married, Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank had dated for seven years, giving Fergie plenty of opportunities to see the couple together in different scenarios and allowing her to get to know him as her daughter's romantic partner. However, with Ado, Fergie and Andrew have always known him as the son of their close friends, and it was only recently that he has become romantically involved with Beatrice. As Ado has known the royals for so long, this may mean he is likely to be the favorite son-in-law. But it is also very possible, he will come behind Jack Brooks' bank, given the brevity of his relationship with Beatrice compared to Eugenie.